हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट क्रीप इन बेल्ट क्रीप जनरली डिफाइन द लॉस ऑफ पावर इन द बेल्ट सो लेट स्टार्ट द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ क्रीप इन द बेल्ट सो क्रीप जनरली रिप्रेजेंट द लॉस ऑफ पावर व्हेन वी आर ट्रांसफरिंग द पावर फ्रॉम ड्राइविंग पुली टू ड्रिविन पुली विद द हेल्प ऑफ बेल्ट so here if we define creep in the belt so it generally represent the motion of belt relative to driving and driven pulley due to unequal stretching of two sides of the drive so this particular phenomena or this particular term is called creep so creep generally represent the unequal stretching of two sides of the drive one side we consider as the driver and another side we consider as the driven and here these are the two sides of the pulley this is the driver pulley and this is the driven pulley so power transmission we generally consider from driver pulley to driven pulley with the help of belt and here this driving pulley or driven pulley are connected to the shaft so power transmission generally we consider in the shaft with the help of belt and belt drive so during this power transmission we consider motion of the belt relative to driving and driven pulley due to unequal stretching here how this unequal stretching happen this unequal stretching generally happen when the tight side of this particular belt is transferring the motion to the slack side or slack side of the belt is transferring the motion to the tight side here we have this diagram of the belt and belt drive so here this particular diagram is representing the belt and belt drive where there are two pulleys are generally connected with the shaft and let us consider this is the flat belt drive so in flat belt drive the tight side of the belt is considered at the bottom side and slack side of the belt is considered as this upper side so here motion is generally transferred from tight side to the slack side and if we are considering this is the driving pulley and this is the driven pulley so this motion in the form of power is generally transferred to the driven pulley so here basically when we are considering the motion from tight side to slack side so the length of the belt generally affected by the motion from tight side to the slack side similarly here when the motion is transferred from slack side to the tight side so in that case the length of this belt is generally increase from the slack side to the tight side and if we are considering the motion from tight side to slack side so length we are considered here it will reduce so there is a variation in length when this motion is transferred from slack side to tight side or from tight side to slack side so this particular motion is generally represent the unequal stretching from slack side to tight side the length will increase and from tight side to slack side the length of the belt is generally reduce so length is generally varying during the overall motion so because of this change in length or because of the unequal stretching of the belt during the power transmission or during the transfer of motion from one shaft to another shaft there is some loss of power we consider and that loss of power generally we consider because of reduction in the speed of the driven pulley so unequal stretching we generally consider as the creep and creep represent the reduction in the speed of the driven pulley because when the length of the belt from the slack side when the length of the belt from the slack side if we are transferring the motion from slack side to tight side it will extend so if it is extending so the grip between this driven pulley or the smaller pulley and the slack side of the belt generally reduced so because of this reduction in the grip the speed of the driven pulley affect so it can reduce because of the less grip 
so when speed of the driven pulley is reducing in that case the power will transfer in less quantity so we will consider here loss of power because of the reduction in the speed of the driven pulley and that reduction we are considering because of the creep so effect of creep generally reduce the speed of the driven pulley that generally affect the power transmission or it generally cause power loss so this is the effect of creep and for this particular flat belt drive if we define the velocity ratio so this velocity ratio is generally defined by n2 by n1 that is equals to d1 by d2 so n2 we consider the speed in the form of rpm for the driven pulley and n1 we consider the speed of the driving pulley in rpm and here d1 and d2 are representing the diameter of both the pulley so d1 if we are considering the diameter of the driving pulley and d2 is the diameter of the driven pulley so for velocity ratio we can define n2 by n1 that is equals to d1 by d2 so this condition for the general case of the flat belt drive now if we are considering the condition of creep because of the extension in length and the reduction in the length from slack side to tight side or from tight side to the slack side so if we are considering condition of creep so the velocity ratio in the condition of creep is generally represented by n2 by n1 that is equals to d1 by d2 multiplied by e plus under root of sigma 2 divided by e plus under root of sigma 1 where e is the modulus of elasticity and sigma 1 and sigma 2 we are considering the stress at the tight side and the stress at the slack side of the belt here e is the modulus of elasticity for the material of the belt whatever material we are taking here either it is leather or cloth or the rubber belt so as per the material we will take the value of e and sigma 1 is representing the stress in the belt on the tight side and sigma 2 is representing the stress in the belt on the slack side because when the motion is transferred from this tight side to the slack side from driving to driven pulley in that case we will consider some change in length in the belt and when the motion is transferring from slack side to tight side also we will consider extension in the length so because of this extension and here from tight side to slack side we will consider reduction so because of this extension and reduction there is some stress is developed it can be compressive stresses it can be tensile stresses as per the condition of the belt or as per the change in length of the belt so that particular change in length is generally represent the stress inside the belt on upper surface of the belt or on lower surface of the belt or at the intermediate surface of the belt so overall stress is generally defined by the sigma 1 in the tight side of the belt and sigma 2 is defined in the belt on the slack side this is representing the stress on the slack side so by this formula we can define the velocity ratio in the condition of creep thank you so much